surviving infidelity. I never thought this would happen to me, but my wife has just admitted to sleeping with another man. She slept with a man who is younger than both of us, he is 21. He is from a very rich family. She wants to be in an open relationship with him, and if I do not let her see him, she says she cannot love me anymore. In fact, after I initially freaked out over the whole thing, she closed down, said she cannot feel anything but numbness, and that she is meant to be polyamorous. I'm 29 years old. We have three children. I am so broken down that I do not know what to do, what to say, and what my course of action is going forward. I've never been so devastated, and she is crying more about losing her lover than she is about hurting me. He was going to teach her trading Bitcoin and make her rich, and when I confronted the guy and he left, she started blaming me for him leaving. Damn. I don't know what to do. I do not have a great job and my wife is the one with a nice university degree. She is the ambitious one, while me, I am just a dedicated father slash husband. Well, I was, I guess. I'm so unmotivated, and I kind of want to die. I cannot tell anyone because I feel like they would just judge me, call me weak, useless, whatever. She's been dramatic for years. She has mental health issues, for which she refuses medication. None of it is an excuse. But I'm just lost. I don't want to have a divorce right away. My parents have a lot on their plate as it is, my grandparents are so old and frail, and these are uncertain times. But my wife just closed off. Says she does not love me. Says she is even afraid of me, because I had the audacity to shout and break her clock radio, when she admitted to screwing a stranger. And I shouldn't say stranger. They have been talking for months. Crap, crap. What do I do? At this point, what can I do? I want to just feel like a man again. I want to feel in charge of things. I want to feel like I matter, at all, even just a tiny bit. Like someone worthy of respect. But years of handling her crap got me nowhere, and it's all gone. Poof. Until she admitted this to me three days ago today, I felt like we had something good, in spite of our troubles, our struggles, being young and raising a family. I even thought drama was supposed to be a part of things, a natural order of things sort of situation, but it got more and more extreme, and now I just kind of want to die, or crawl in a ditch, or run away from it all. Which I cannot because I am broke, and I have kids who need me. I've never been a guy lacking in confidence, I am not bad looking, I am not a cheater or a bad guy, I provide, do what needs to be done. Sure, I have my weaknesses, but damn, I've worshipped the floor this woman walks on for as long as I can remember, and right now, I feel like dog poop. All my confidence, my ability to believe in myself, it just went out the window. She even got the guy to come to our home so I could talk to him. He's not a good looking guy, he's cocky. He's into some sort of enlightenment BS, which my wife is into as well. They are fans of a certain Indian guru and try to find freedom from all attachment, which I suppose, includes me. Now for the top advice. You need to secretly see a lawyer and think about custody. This woman is not your wife, she does not care about you, you will probably never forgive her. When the affair fog lifts and she's faced with all the lives she destroyed, she will cry and come back. Don't let her. Good luck, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I will almost certainly get custody, as she is a diagnosed bipolar. She's seen a psychiatrist and psychologist for a long time, but does not take medication as she refuses to do so. Thing is. I would hate to see her lose the kids too. She's crazy and mentally ill. But our daughters are so young, so innocent. I am afraid to hurt or traumatize them. She doesn't want an open relationship. She wants to cheat on you while you watch the kids. I'm sorry, but your marriage is over. You can end it now, or end it later, but it's over. The longer you stay in a marriage like this, the longer the kids will see what an unhealthy relationship looks like, and think it's acceptable. Even you found yourself doing this for a little while. You treated her like a celebrity, and she's treating you like a fan. Don't do this in the future, it causes people to lose respect for you. It teaches them that they are more valuable than you, and for those with narcissistic tendencies, like your wife, they will quickly believe that and act on it. This right here. When you put someone on a pedestal, you put them in a place where they look down on you. 1. Talk to your family and friends about the affair. 2. Go see a lawyer. 3. Start disconnecting yourself emotionally from her. 4. Start planning your exit strategy. 5. Separation and no contact. This relationship is over, and toxic for you and for your children, and I promise you, if you do the right thing and ask her to leave, 
your life be much better without her. Full custody plus child support, the house plus alimony. Go see a lawyer. Dude, seriously? Divorce her. She doesn't love you, she cheated on you, and is sad because she lost her lover. Your family will support you and endure this. They might not endure knowing you've been used all this time. Your daughters will be unhappy if they are raised in an unhappy home. Think of them at least. Divorce her, ask for full custody, and if she is the one that makes more money, demand child support from her. It won't be hard if you can prove she is diagnosed with mental issues and refuse to be treated. Save yourself and save your family from this woman. The next story is titled. My, 38 male, wife, 34 female, has been cheating on me for more than a year with her childhood love. After me helping her through her depression for over a year. I'm not using my actual user for this, but I feel a need to share my story. I've talked to close friends about it, my family but hoping to get some advice and insights on here too. I know the Reddit community is also a wholesome place. So here it goes. We've been together for 16 years, married for about six. We have two small kids, younger than six years old. For the past two plus years, I've been dragging her through a depression. She hasn't had an easy life, and there were periods when her darkest thoughts crossed her mind. But we got through each time. The day of our marriage was bliss, and we were so much in love. After the birth of our second child though, she started changing. Going back to the person she was as a teen. Dark, moody, short-tempered. I noticed this a bit late, since I was mostly busy with our kids. And had a talk with her. At first, she denied anything. Stating that she was just tired, and life's burden was a bit much. But as time moved on, she declined rapidly. About a year ago, she admitted having plans to end herself. She did not go through with them because of our kids, and I took it upon myself to keep helping her through this. Even taking in some of the blame for her suffering. I went to a psychologist myself, and tried to remain strong. Some time ago, we had a discussion as to where our relationship was going. There were good fun periods, and then times where we wouldn't even talk. At that moment, she admitted that she wasn't happy anymore, and didn't want to continue our marriage. So that was the first hit I took, and it was rough. So many thoughts racing through my head. About the kids, our house, my future, her depressed state. We argued, we talked, we made practical decisions. Up until about a week ago, I kept wondering what had happened that made her want to leave her family. I straight up asked her if there was anyone else. Now, this is the part that hit me the hardest, and I have no clue how to proceed with it next to some advice from friends and family. She was seeing someone else, also a guy who's married and even has a small child, apparently born during the affair with my wife. Now, as hard-hitting as all this is, I started looking into it. And this guy is someone she hooked up with in her teens. This was also a period where she was in a really dark place, and he even stalked her for some time. It now appears he never gave up, and found her in her weakened state, and started to take advantage of her. I'm not looking for a redeeming factor to save our marriage, that's over. I am looking for ways to process this for myself and maybe to loosen his grip on her so it doesn't affect our kids. He has manipulated her, has no intention of starting a relationship but only uses her for intercourse. He doesn't speak to her friends on time, but she is on his beck and call. When he ignores her, she goes into a downward spiral, when he acknowledges her, she's happy. Well, not really, but that's how it seems. For the moment, we're still living together, trying to take all the steps to end our marriage and move out. But I need a way to cope with this, with the fact that her depression is fed by him, that he's been to our house, and that he used my wife for over a year. Now for the top advice. Paternity test, STD test, divorce lawyer, and therapist. You just went straight to the point. Don't forget to contact the AP's wife and let her know what's going down. Your wife probably isn't the only side chick he is sticking it to. I don't think she's stable enough to raise children. And so I hope you're going to have them after the divorce. You should go to therapy, and your children should too, just in case. OP, I second to this comment. Moreover, you should also seek paternity tests to ensure you are the biological parent of both children. Good luck. Start with the practical things. Get tested for STDs now, and in three months. Meet with a lawyer to protect your interests in the coming divorce. Protect your assets by opening your own bank account and transferring half of everything to it. Regarding your wife, there is nothing you can do to help her. You already did everything you could and she still made the decision to not care about you. 
inform her parents about the state she is in, maybe they can help her. She can only get out of the funk she is in with professional help. You now need to protect yourself, your interests, and the kids. Stop trying to help her. Focus on the kids and try to spend as much time with them as possible. Find a new apartment or house where you can move to ASAP. The quicker you get some distance between you and your wife, the quicker you can start to heal. If you know her fair partner, then inform his wife about what her husband does. She has a right to know and should get tested for STDs as well. Who knows if your wife is the only one he uses to betray his wife. You are worth so much more than to be treated this way. The next story is titled. Mother of my child cheated on me. I'm devastated. Good day everyone. I'll try to keep this as short as possible. In November, my then girlfriend of 5 years, and the mother of my 3 year old son, cheated on me. I had taken our son to my grandparents, as I always do on weekends, and she stayed behind our apartment. She asked me to call an Uber for her to see a friend, didn't respond to my texts the rest of the day, and could not account for her time slash whereabouts when I asked the next day. Fast forward to New Year's Eve, she got drunk and bragged to a mutual friend that she had banged someone on the night in question, someone I know. The mutual friend told me, I was livid, and told my ex to pack all of her stuff and leave the apartment. When I probed about the infidelity, she said she had no choice but to cheat, because I, had grown distant, and she felt I didn't love her anymore. She has moved back to a friend's place to sort herself out and I currently have our son. I am devastated. She is unemployed, got retrenched recently, near homeless, and has no idea when she'll get a job. She's asked if I could buy her monthly plane tickets, so she can come see our son until she finds a job, but I'm against this. We've blocked each other everywhere except WhatsApp so she can video call our son, but I am terrified about what happens next. I am a mess and she seems to have thoroughly moved on. Which is fine, whatever, but I fear for what happens next with our son, and how we'll co-parent successfully. If she doesn't get a job in the next few months, she has mentioned the possibility of taking our son back, and I'd send some sort of a stipend to support the both of them. Really looking for any advice, how to heal from the infidelity and how to successfully co-parent. Now for the advice. Nope. She left. He emotionally abandoned you and physically abandoned her child due to her cheating. Do not financially support her in any way. Let her get a taste of what life without you will be like. Do not be her safety net. Most importantly get a lawyer and go to the courts for full custody for your child. Seconding this. Get primary custody. Look to your parents or grandparents for help. She's absolutely out for herself and is happy to milk you for all you are worth. If she cared for her kid, she wouldn't have done what she did. I have vacated our apartment and I'm living with my parents for the next month or so. Just really afraid that, if lawyers get involved, she may say, look there's a vacant property me, my mother's child, and my son could live in. No choice but to cheat. That's how you know it's done. She doesn't understand how choices work and doesn't make good ones. When she talks about getting back together, it will only be for financial reasons, she's already shown she can't be a reliable partner. I said the same. She asked if she could stay for a month and look for a job, but I refused because she's still in contact with the affair partner. She simply refuses to block him. Taking your son back and you paying child support my butt. Lawyer up and demand full custody now. She cannot afford the kid and left him with you. She wants to use the kid as a meal ticket, don't let her. It's difficult to accept this, using the kid as a meal ticket, but my parents have said the same. I think I may still be a bit naive slash stuck in the relationship. Now for the last story. I don't know if my, 33 male, daughter, 8 year old is my bio child. A quick backstory: I was married to what I thought was a wonderful woman, after 4 years of dating. She had been married previously and had three sons whom I still love and spend time with after five years of being apart. About nine months into our marriage, she started acting different. We all know the way it goes, staying out late, lying, and secretive on her phone. Come to find out, she started with an emotional affair with a married man that was in her EMS training class. I did what I think most people in love do. I told her this needs to stop, and I contacted the affair partner's wife, and her and I both found more evidence of what was happening. I sat down with her on her oldest son's birthday, telling her I know what's happening and it has to stop. She asked me what happened between me and my ex a few weeks after we started dating. I'm not a perfect man, I had texted my ex a few weeks into our relationship and told her I missed her. 
but it came out and I was frightened about losing my wife, I never did that ever again. And after what happened, I never would do it to anyone ever again. We cried, we held each other, and we decided to try again. Two months later, she was in a new class and I felt a boy was trying to get between us, and she insisted she was only helping him with class. Well, the class had a barbecue, which I was initially invited to. But she changed her mind, and asked me to stay home with our daughter that night, her boys were with their father this weekend. I took my daughter to the drive-in movies while she went to the cookout. But I found out that she hadn't gone to the cookout. She had gone out with the boy. And she said she wasn't coming home when I contacted her. I went home grabbed some diapers, clothes, and took my daughter and moved out. At 3 a.m. on a Saturday. I called him boy because he was far younger than her and I. I don't know his exact age, after we separated, I found out she was ignoring her kids, leaving them with her mother. And also, within weeks was introducing them to her new boyfriend. I was furious. Then she tried to keep my daughter from me, when I wouldn't allow her to take my daughter to meet the new boyfriend. After the divorce was final, I got custody of my daughter and she has visitation. I never even thought about questioning if my daughter is mine. I just knew I didn't want her raised by my ex-wife if her morals are okay with what she's been doing. But after listening to surviving infidelity and relationship advice, I thought back to my daughter's conception date, or so I thought was while we were dating, I got back from a week-long work training trip. But I know she had people over while I was away. Including one guy who I feel was crossing over the line constantly in front of me. Let alone what they talked about in private. She denies this obviously. Even her cousin told us to our faces that this guy wants to screw her and bail. I know he was there that week, but I never thought she would cheat on me at that time. Back to the present, my daughter is 8, I love her dearly, and I am shaking typing this. I'm scared she may not be mine. I know it's an easy paternity test for the answer. I don't know if I want to know, what do I do if she's not mine? Do I tell anyone? I can't lose her. She's my whole world. Do I tell her if she's not mine? I have built my life around my daughter. I'm afraid I'm going to lose everything again. Now for the top advice. Normally I would say get a test done, but in this case, I would not. Look, you have custody of her, and you are the real only stable parent she has. At this point, you are her father, bio or not. Your ex was a tool, and the last thing you want to happen is to lose your daughter to her. I can't agree more with this. Your daughter is your daughter. Let it go. Might want to talk to a therapist to get past this thought process of self-doubt. It shouldn't eat you up. Your daughter loves you, and you love her. That's all that matters. You'll see her grow up nicely. Graduate and get married, and get to see some grandkids. That's life. You've raised her as your daughter, so in every sense of the word, you are her father. A test won't change that. I don't know what good could come of knowing if she's really yours. Would you still treat her the same? Will you still look after her the same? It would be sad if you found out she wasn't yours and you started to resent her for it. I really don't know what to suggest for the best. On the one hand, every child deserves to know who their father is, but in this case, I think she has her father anyway. Another point to mention, this is really only in your head, you have no proof your wife cheated at the time, no offense. I'm just not sure if it's worth ruining the harmony you have in your life now, but if it's eating away at you, then do a test. This is everything I'm struggling with. I couldn't see myself resenting her ever. She's a wonderful little girl and I'm blessed, but if something happens medically, I'm concerned. Also, this just hit me. I'm at work trying to hide my emotions, and doing a pitiful job of it, it's very fresh. It feels like it did give years ago, like my life is defined by my ex no matter what I do. Just nervous and scared I guess. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.